G'day guys, welcome to Wicked Wildlife. Now, when we think about pythons, we generally think about big blokes like Tiny, our olive python here. But uh, today I want to introduce you to the world's smallest python. He's a new member to the Wicked Wildlife crew here. So uh, stay tuned, we'll have a bit of a look at the pygmy python guys. So check this little bloke out. This guy here is a little pygmy python or anthill python. And uh, I've wanted one of these guys for years. So first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to a mate, Michael Beltrami. He knew that I was after one of these guys and he had a friend who was selling one. So uh, thanks for the heads up, buddy. But uh, on to this bloke. So obviously, like I said, he's the world's smallest species of python. In fact, these guys are fully grown at a maximum of about 63 centimeters, which when you bear in mind, within the same family, we've got a python, the reticulated python, over in Indonesia and Malaysia, that uh, has a record of just over 10 metres long. In fact, I think you'd struggle to find any one family of animals that has such a, a massive variation between their maximum and minimum species members. 10 metres compared to 0.6 metres. It's huge. And when these guys are born, they're only about 4 grams. They're like tiny little toothy worms. They're so small that he wouldn't even be able to eat baby mice. Now, in captivity, we get them feeding on mouse tails, but in the wild, he'd basically be living off skinks. Even as an adult, about 67% of his diet would be reptiles, skinks and other little snakes and things like that, along with the odd things like hopping mice or antichinus and stuff like that, a few, a few desert-dwelling mammals. Now, this species is only found in Western Australia, uh, up in the Pilbara region which is a bit confusing when you find out their scientific name is Perthensis, which would indicate that they come from Perth, but they don't, up in uh, the Pilbara region. And uh, this is one species that really hasn't been impacted by anything up there. They seem to be fairly secure. In fact, the area is essentially a mining area. And as damaging as mining can be, luckily it's immensely damaging for small scale areas, when you bear in mind how big the Pilbara is. So there's a lot of habitat left for these guys, um, they just live in a remote enough part of Australia that they not often come across. So, uh, pretty cool species, I think. The pygmy python. Now so one last thing I forgot to add, guys, is that uh, this gorgeous little tacker still needs a name. So, if you've got any ideas for a name for a pygmy python, please uh, shoot us a message or leave a comment down below. Uh, on top of that, guys, if you do like the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. And uh, other than that, guys, as always, have a good one and take care.